Kids in the state line have been able to have more and more opportunities to collect Easter eggs in hunts. Ari Brookman went to one today. Families tell you after a year full of canceled events, they were happy to be able to go to one today. Yeah, Alexis, between remote learning and the uncertainty created by the pandemic in the last year, parents were happy to be outside with their kids, spending time as a family. Three, two, one, go! Camp Winnebago held their first ever Easter egg hunt. The hunt was open to kids of all ages, with thousands of eggs, candy, and prizes. As a father, James Parham saw how difficult it was for so many kids to be at home all of the time during the pandemic. He tells me it was very important to attend the event. I felt it was important for him to get out, just enjoy nature. It isn't a perfect day, but just to be around a lot of kids his ages and uh, just to have fun. That's what it is, you know, kids need exercise. We've got to move around. Everybody's masked up. we got the distance going, so everything is safe, safe and sound. Hannah Long is the program director for Camp Winnebago. She tells me putting this event on was a top priority. Having kids getting to spend more time with their families, their grown-ups, um, and we really missed having our kids back out here. So the biggest thing was getting kids back out at camp uh, as well as just having that, that family time. 13-year-old Sarah Dorsey has been coming to Camp Winnebago for seven years now. She was happy to be outside with her friends and family in a place that she loves. But as most kids know, when it comes to Easter egg hunts, it's all about finding those special eggs with the best prizes. To find a golden egg and get a free week of camp. There are like two or three eggs um, with free week golden tickets. Or um, all the golden eggs. The, the golden eggs. To ensure the safety of everyone there, they divided up the hunts into three different time slots to allow for social distancing. Alexis?